Hello everyone. So we have here uh, a Dell uh, Akintosh that is running uh, uh, two separate uh, Antelope audio interfaces. Uh, one is USB 3. It's a Orion HD Studio HD. It's the lowest one. And the upper one is a Discrete 8 that is Thunderbolt uh, 2 with its adapter. They are both working at the same time. You can see them in their control panel. Um, from the system preferences, you can switch them in runtime. Of course, we also try to record our stuff at um, 96 kilohertz and 128 buffer size. And um, yeah, so that was not easy to get. Done it. It was quite a, quite a journey. Uh, it involved uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, fiddling with the power management of this thing also to get is uh, um, because those Dells have a very um, like aggressive power saving features and these really uh, him, um, hinder a lot of the real time performance for audio even on Windows of course it's it's a it's a hardware issue with those machines but you can correct it with a, with some firmware hacks and yeah so the machine is running great. We are now running a um, Big Sur as the client needed this machine to work with a specific version of Pro Tools, which was working with Big Sur, but uh, it also works uh, with Monterey and uh, Ventura. And the, the audio old cards also work with those. Another trick that we had to perform is to actually revert to the 4.5 Oh, for, sorry, 4.2 firmware, while the latest 4.5 didn't work. The, the 4.4 also works. That is how long time. Yes, the, 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 the 4.4 should also work, but the 4.5 definitely doesn't. So there, there's a lot of, tricking, of, of trickery going on. Uh, those drivers are terrible, so it's, it's, a, it's a real mess, but we got it working. The machine is, as always, very, 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 very cold, contrary to any Intel MacBook. You can perform like benchmarks and everything, and it will stay under 90 degrees uh, and go full speed, full throttle. So the performance is, I would say, almost double the real performance of a MacBook Pro i9, as the MacBook Pro i9 has heavy, heavy throttling, uh, even under like average loads. And this machine has a 130 watt power supply, while the MacBook Pro has a 90 watt power supply. So it's like there's nothing you can do about that. Like the MacBook will always throttle, even if you make the best cooling for that. While this machine has the best cooling and the power supply to also uh, give the juice to them to the to the processor to the CPU, which is a six-core i7 nine generation, 2.6 base clock and 4.2 boost, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's all for for this video. I have fun in this thing and so just to, to show you that you can do that and this machine are so much better than any Intel MacBook you can buy. Uh, so they're perfect for like as, as, as this example shows uh, like any client that has an old version of Pro Tools and doesn't want to pay a lot of money for new plugins and new Pro Tools license. Ciao tutti!